Dino Charger, engage. Well, <laughs> yeah, sorry for the stupidity for that one. Welcome back to another Power Ranger Dino Charge Vlog. The episode today, The Tooth Hurts. Kind of a bit of a play on the word tooth and truth. Though the word truth is barely used, and if it is used, it's poor. The episode begins with Riley doing some exercising, which at least we know that he at least trains. He even stated his reason why he trains. During his fight with Fury, the Oni that I mentioned in the previous episodes, he had a hard time fighting him. Even with us with the sword. Yeah. Yeah, it's a giant pygmy. I mean, it's a pygmy sword to me. It's too small to be a dagger, but too big. No, it's too big to be a sword, too small to be a dagger. Anyway. He's training so he can at least understand. I'm going to try to at least beat Fury. So he basically has to rival the enemy to fight. While at the same time, Chase is being lazy in a way. And Riley calls him out saying that he's lazy and he doesn't do anything of training to be better. Well, at the same time, we get our Monster of the Week. I think its name was Cavity, a pastry chef with a banana split for a head. Where do they get these monsters, um, these bounties from? And yeah, we can also see that Toxandra, Sledge's fiance, is a massive bridezilla. She really, and she wants, and she doesn't want a cake that everyone will love. She wants a cake that everyone will be in pain and will remember this day. So, this is, that's a messed up bridezilla, but then again, I've seen worse. So yeah, they picked him out to go hunt for the rangers. And yet, the first thing that I noticed... Shouldn't Sledge know where the Power Rangers are now since his monster was able to... Locate where they were, place down a cake... For them to eat as a free sample. And then when they, before the rangers about to eat the cake, they discover everyone who ate it... Is suffering from massive cavities, which... Anyone who had cavities, know the pain. Mm -hmm. You, it is torture. If you have bad cavities, and especially with that, it means all your teeth are going to be in pain. But yeah, so, Sledge should know where the ranger was located then, so he couldn't just go down there, destroy the museum, get to the bottom, there you go, end of gems. Eh, I guess it was just more of a not paying attention, or Sledge doesn't know. Anyway... They're chasing down the cavity monster, and Riley and Chase are going at each other because Riley's trying to fight the monster, and Chase is just showing off. And at least we discovered why was the chef monster a bounty. He could just decay a tr stuff with shooting lasers at it from his mouth. After he escaped with, and at the same time, Tyler was busy fighting the little minions, and my only thought was, where's Shelby and Coda? Where were they? Were they helping out people who were suffering tooth decay? Mm. Anyway, Kendall and Riley decide to try to understand what's going on. Maybe there's something in the cake. It's frosting, or the cake itself. So the whole time them trying to study it, Chase is throwing it away. So it's like, ugh, okay, if he'd known what was going on, I'm pretty sure it would... It was more, I can't really say, but if he didn't know, it was understandable. And when Riley tried to call him out on saying this, that they needed this for research, he just throws all the trash back on the table. So it's like, I think that's more of a jerk move. And with both, and with him, Riley snapping out on him, Kendall just boots the both out, where I'm like, okay, I, that's understandable. They're, she's trying to fix this problem, she has two people arguing each other. Chase gets, just grabs a skateboard and skates off, while at the same time, Riley is training using a sword, and because he's too much angry, you know, you're screwing up. At the same time, the monster just couldn't take any more baking cakes for Toxandra, so he just goes crazy and starts destroying buildings, decaying them and all that. And at the same time, Keeper does what I would say, it's supposed to seem good, but in a way it feels more like a jerk move, because he only taught this to Riley. 
basically two people have two different opinions, but if it's the same one, it's really not that bad. Like, but using the metaphor of throwing a ball to a, the ball shooter, same, different way, same results. Yeah, Chase was skateboarding, but he was also looking for the monster. He informed everyone, and he got hit because he got he got shot with. He tried to shoot the guy, and it wouldn't work. Laser fire bounces off his teeth, so I want to know what his teeth are made of. If they could bounce off laser fire, they all come together. And the funniest moment I do like was when they were trying to do their power interpose, which I'm thinking, okay, and then the explosion the whole time. Chase is in pain, trying to do the pose at first, and Riley's like, can we just skip him? <laughs> and then the, the fire explosion doing all the epicness, it's like... <laughs> and yet he's still fighting. I give him points on that. I couldn't do anything with massive tooth pain. And yet, what defeated... it was I was like this time that Riley and Chase used their powers together to take out the monster. That was cool. Using the using their other gems and put it in their own weaponry to do the finisher. And then when it went to the giant monster fight, my link, it was still Shelby and Coda Zord that was doing all the work. Sorry. And yet, also discovering that the Stego Zord can also form a sword. So the question is, so, why did they actually need the Velociraptor since he's supposed to be the sword user? If the Stegosaurus could be the shield and the sword. They kill the monster, you know, yada yada yada, we all know what happens after that. Sledge gets annoyed, failed to get the energy gems again. Questioning why does the bounty hunter need the powerful stuff in the universe. And then we get to that lesson where Riley explaining to Chase how that he's considered the oddball in his family, which I'm like, it that doesn't work because of the fact that maybe it would have said like Riley was more Riley's family was more serious workers; they are not slackers, and it would make sense why he didn't get along with Chase because Chase is a slacker. But then it just felt like. That important lesson could work, but then again it couldn't because Chase wasn't listening. He had music on. And then they all decide to go do some training. And their type of training is more of parkour. So unless the but from how many times I see them fighting monsters, it's more of uh, 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 or <laughs> Sorry, I don't have the gun on me. I'm just using the sword with me. Still, I don't think parkour would ever work. Really, I actually never seen a power ranger do parkour to beat down their enemies. So, yeah. That was the, the tooth hurts. How do I feel? Well, the unique design of a monster, I give it that. And the power, what he could do, is even more torturement to a person, not mentally harming them if they were people who watched it, if they remember having cavities. But I think the lesson was a little bit more haphazardly. It focused more on like Riley was being belittled throughout the whole time, and yet Chase got away with that, with the stuff. I'm not trying to say that Chase was in the wrong, but at least he could have learned something about it, given him a lesson, somebody teach him something. This is right now the two thirds is right now on the list of least favorable episodes of Power Rangers. And all I can say, hopefully next episode they'll at least try to fix it. And hopefully not another episode dealing with Chase. Uh, we just went through Breaking Black and now it's his episode. And now we're, it's Riley and he has to share it with him. Next episode, give me a different ranger. Anyone but Chase next time. Well anyway, this is the vlog. All I can say is, signing out.